Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Are you ready to have some good old paper refund today? Let's do this. Maybe you're thinking about decorating a uh, page in your junk journal. I wanted to show you this uh, page that I just created and it's very easy. And if you're looking for something simple that uses up some scraps and supplies, let's take a look at this. Here's the prototype. So uh, this is a belly band, which runs from north to south. And uh, it's a very simple construction, but it's a great way to use up scraps or thin pieces of uh, fragile paper. Uh, we make them a little bit stronger and they become functional and uh, then they can hold little precious items. This is a piece from an old journal that I had and I just uh, made it look old and older and uh, placed it in there for extra writing room for somebody. So this is a very simple concept, but kind of fun to do. And it takes care of one of those journal pages. So let's make one of these. Okay. And I just decorated it with a little paper punch uh, bird and uh, uh, decorated her up a little bit. So I show you, I'll show you how I did it. Okay. So what you want to do is grab like a piece of paper that's thin. So if you have an old newspaper or um, a phone book or a magazine with thin pages or some of the vintage pages are very old and very thin, but they can have very interesting things on them and you just never know what you're going to come across. These may be odd, they may be unusual, they may be Victorian, they may be interesting, but whatever are they, they are, they're, they create intrigue in your book. And I love doing the unusual head scratcher moment, so getting them to think about what's going on. So, uh, yeah, actually in this one here, just to show you, it says it's actually a uh, page from my first aid book and I've got some guy in a stretcher here. I mean, that's kind of unsuspecting, right? Yeah. I mean, hey, maybe not your style, but um, <laughs> I like to surprise people. Okay. So basically just take a page and uh, really it doesn't matter if it's ripped or torn because we can bury the tear and that is okay. So what we're going to do is I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see the folding. So I'm just going to fold this up. Um, on itself and we're just going to double it up to the thickness that we want to make our little uh, belly band. There we go and maybe one more fold and I'm going to put it not quite to the edge, um, almost to the edge because I don't want a little edge to deal with there. Uh, so I don't know if you saw that. Let me go in closer. So the last fold, I didn't bring it right to the edge. I just made it a little shy. Okay. Now you can glue this or um, sew it. But the one I, I um, had the, um, uh, the prototype with, it was uh, sewn. I didn't actually glue it at all, but I will glue this one and then I will sew it just so you can see what the sewing part is like. But you could glue the whole thing down. So wherever you need to put the glue, you put the glue. Like if you need some, oops, you gotta be careful because these are thin pages. Um, you need one here, you're gonna need one there. Okay, and probably need one more in here. And you could call that done and just decorate at will here. But I'm gonna go ahead and sew this around just to show you what that um, looks like. And uh, here we go. Okay, let me move that over there. And there's a, a whole bunch of stuff on my desk today. Okay, there's the old sewing machine. Good old brother. Limited edition project run ray, runway. Not running away on me yet, thank you. Hi, Sammy. Um, okay, here we go. So I'm going to do number one stitch and make it a little longer than normal. And I'm going around. Is that shaking you? Sorry. Um, all right, so I hope you guys are having fun today, whatever you're doing. Uh, we're just doing uh, simple paper projects today and just have a lot of fun goofing around with the paper. So if you're a paper lover, paper aficionado, paper rookie, doesn't matter, come on in, settle down, grab a chair, let's have some fun. Uh, paper fun, paper crafting can be for everyone. Um, all you got to do is find a little bit of paper and let's play with it. Mm -hmm. There are so many resources out there and often they can find them right in your house uh, or not far away. All right, so we got that. Let's reposition over here. So really our, our base, the great sewing, right? I know, I know. Um, so the base is done. You can do one side or the other, but since this is going to be a belly band, um, the underside is not going to show, okay? Um, so we're not too worried about the un underside on this one. So now all we're going to do is decorate it and then we'll place it in our journal. We'll decorate the page and see how that goes. So let's, I pulled out, I have this uh, um, little drawer full of uh, punched out scraps. Uh, so sometimes I'll just sit here and punch, 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 because I know I'll use these things if I have them at the ready. I will grab for them. Here's a pretty little dragonfly. He came out of some packaging I made. 
There's a little, uh, I had a little flower punch and I just put a little uh, liquid pearl drop and ink the edges. So ready to go. And um, what else we have here? We've got a little square. Don't know how I'm going to use these yet, but just pulling out some options and uh, reminding myself that I have these. Yes, here's a little leaf. I put some uh, stickles in copper color on there. And uh, so I'm just making a little collection of uh, things that I can pull from and just some label punches. All right, so let's see what we got here. So this is a nice brown color. Maybe we want to put something a little fancy on it, something like that. Maybe I want to ink the edges. What are you going to ink it in, Pam? Are you going to do the same old color like you always do? No, I'm going to go for something different. I'm going to use iced spruce. Maybe that will look nice. And uh, trying to pull from my, my, uh, my stash and use what I got. Yeah, iced spruce. Okay, so getting the old dauber out. And let's see if that gives us enough pop. If it's not enough pop, I may have to come in with a big gun, like a walnut stain or something. Yeah, maybe not a whole lot of pop. Okay, we're, we're kind of limited on the pop there. <clears throat> okay, don't use the brown, don't use the black. Use something else, Pam. Not vintage photo. You can do this. Go in and find something that's different. Okay, this is different. There, festive berries. How about that? Nobody was expecting festive berries, and, you know, since it's that time of year... Let's grab something that looks like pink or red as a dauber. I like to use these, these little universal, um, anything red, pink is going to get, going to get this on it. <laughs> all right. This is my universal pink one. Okay. That's kind of bringing the pink of it all in. Yeah. That definitely, uh, shows up there. Okay. Let's see what we got. That looks kind of pretty, right? Okay. And I think that's going to pop a little bit more on here. Um, and we can just go ahead and add that right on. Do we want to put anything under that? Maybe, maybe we do. Maybe, maybe this. Does that show? Not really. Let's use something that's lighter colored. Okay, I can do that. I can find something here. I can turn it over. Put that, no. Okay, this is by, like part of the big decision of crafting. It's like, what are you going to do, Pam? What are you going to put there that's going to make it show? Okay, that would show. Do we want that, though? I don't know. Um, no, 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 we don't. <laughs> I decided, no, no, that's not going to go there. Uh, maybe I'll just do a traditional circle. Okay, have this circle of white. Put you there. That kind of pops nicely, right? Okay, maybe we'll do that. Now, maybe I will pull in an old gun. This is walnut stain, my little trooper. And I should have my little very ever handy and at the ready dauber for any brown. <laughs> this is the universal brown dauber. Just going to make that pop a little bit more. Okay. And maybe, I, I don't know, I'm just feeling like I want to nest it or something. I'm feeling very nesty today. Let me see if I can find a piece of something. There's like a whole pile of material here. Let me just grab something, anything. Here, I'll have some cheesecloth. That would be nice. All right. I'm going to get some cheesecloth. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, a little cheesecloth. Okay. Cut the cheesecloth. Gonna ruffle the cheesecloth. And these little thingies go everywhere, but that's half the fun, right? Hey, we're having fun. That's all that matters. I hope you're having a good day. I'm learning about sound. Yes, I'm learning how when you do everything wrong, what happens? Yay me! Um, so uh, thank you for your patience. I'm working on it. I uh, will go from here. I uh, just uh, I'm trying to get things better for you guys. Okay, so that actually looks kind of cool. So let's do that. And since this is a fabric to paper, I'm going to pull out my old friend Fabrifix glue, clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper, pretty good universal glue. Kind of works like a cold hot glue. Um, all right, let's just kind of mush and squish. Okay, just put that down. Yeah. Um, sometimes the randomness of it is better than pretty placement. Um, you can always like futz with it a little bit after if you want, but we're just going to go with that. And then we're going to glue this on. And this is a nice way to use those caramelized pages if you have them from a book and uh, you're thinking, oh, what else can I do with this? What else can I do with this? Making little belly bands is um, very fun and functional. And you could also do it this way. Maybe it looks better that way. What do you think? This way? Yeah, maybe that way. No, I think uh, changing it. I could always even go on an angle. Yeah, I could. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll just go on an angle. All right. Just throwing everybody off here today. Just going wild. Yeah, let's see what... Hey, it's only paper, right? We can't get too excited about this stuff. It's just, so, it's just paper. And it's okay. Yeah. All right, there we go. 
All right, we have that, put that relatively in the center. Um, so that's kind of cool, right? Okay, let me put you a little closer. You can see what's going on here. Okay, so we have this little guy. And now let's say we want to um, amp it up a little bit. We want to like, we can't see anything. Okay. Um, we want to uh, put some decoration on it, maybe um, have it have a little pizzazz, a little splash. And let me get some, um, um, I have some liquid pearls, but that's not the right color. So let me just grab the right color. Okay, I'm back. I hope, hoping all is well. Um, not quite sure what the right color is. Maybe a blue. Maybe I should have grabbed a blue, but I grabbed this. This is Flamingo in liquid pearls. And let's just see how this goes. I think this is going to be pretty and pretty easy. Now let's see if she's free flowing. She's got a little sharp tip on her there. And we're going to go in for a closer eyeball of this little project. I'm going to get my clothes out of the way because you know me. You know me. I love to smear this stuff. But I think I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to put some just general decorative dots. Down up is the motion. Down up, down up, down up. This stuff is great to use. It makes things very pretty, very easy, very quickly and it lasts a long time. But you do have to let it dry or you'll smudge it. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Whoop, there. So down up is the direction. If you go to the side, you might get a tail. That's a tail. Okay. Um, you can try and scrape it up, but um, it's probably going to smudge. So you might just want to leave it um, and just carry on. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to do that with crafting. And it shows it's homemade, and uh, that's okay. I mean, you know, really? Are we going to get all excited about that? I don't think so. There are bigger fish to fry everywhere. So let's fry only the small fish. Yeah, here with the liquid pearls. And uh, now I am going to attempt not to smudge this. And I will do my best. But I do like working with this stuff if I have patience. And of course I don't because I want to show you how to put this into your um, journal with a cool background and stuff like that. So let me just shrink it up a little bit, get a better, we can see the whole little guy. Can we see the whole little guy, please? Okay, no. Okay, whoop, too small. It's a very sensitive little zoomerama here. Okay, still learning, still learning. Okay, thank you for your patience. All right, I think I'm going to do some accent um, around here because I just, I think it lends itself, you know? <laughs> Sometimes things lend themselves. This is lending, totally lending going on here. All right, I just, now it looks like a wristwatch, doesn't it? Yep. Totally looks like a wristwatch. Some very odd wristwatch from some other, you know, like fancy, you know, gala or something that was in a silent auction. And here it is. Okay, there we go. We've got it. Um, all right, so let's leave that there and not muck with it too much. Of course, right now what I'm going to do is muck with it. Um, I want to put some things maybe in the center. And we did pull out some cutie things. So let's see what we have. Now they're small and they're... Um, they're like not causing any trouble. Well, let's see what we can do. Now you're all the same color as my page, so that's not gonna work, but you're, you're actually not bad. We could put you on here. Yeah, let's put you on there. Okay, we're using, oh, oh yeah, first, first, first incident. Maybe I wanna use um, this berries, maybe make you a little more red. This is a little, he was cut out of packaging. I think it got cut out of a scrapbook cover. Scrapbook paper cover. I could glue you there. You would pop if you were. If there was something better underneath you. Oh, this is kind of cool. This I, I punched out at some point. Now you might look kind of cute on that. On a, you kind of got a half a, half a heart bottom here. Maybe I can fix you. Let's see if I can fix you. Okay. Let's just see. Let's just see. All right. There we go. Not bad. Not bad in a pinch. Not bad in a pinch at all. Not perfect. We could do better than that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. There we go. All right, so we have that guy. Maybe we want to just brown him up a little bit. Maybe we'll do three things on here. It'll be a, a trifecta of excitement. This will be, oh, I'm gonna totally smush those. I should have um, stickled at the end, but no, but no, that's right. All right, let's just put this down. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. Here we go, putting it down. Sometimes you think of these things after, so what are you gonna do? You can't, you know, throw the baby out with the bathwater. Here, here, stick you down. I know I'm squishing the stickles, but it's okay. It's okay. Straight, it's not straight, and we don't want to do too much turning. Okay. Um, now, let's see if I can pick up that dragonfly. Can I put you on here? Or are you gonna Are you gonna cause mayhem? I don't mayhem. Maybe. 
Okay, let's see. This half will go glued on here, so you'll show. I don't know how much I really need on that. I want them to show. Okay, we'll try that. Oh, I can't see. So like I'm 100 miles away. Let me show you. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Let me slide the piece. Doo, 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 doo. There he is. Okay, so he is on the flower heart, uh, uh, leaf heart. And now we're going to go do the bottom. We will put something down here. Oh, we have a little little piece of black that I punched out. That's sometimes handy with these these little, you know, it's like an anchoring piece or something. Let's just put it on. It's on your desk, Pam. Just use it. Okay, I'm going to use it. How can I use it? Sometimes we overthink things and then we get stuck um, not making any progress because we overthink one tiny belly butt, belly band and that's that'll get you stuck forever. But remember, it's only paper. This I made before and I think that will contrast nicely there, but maybe we need a tiny little pipe of white. Okay, no, not that. Okay, let's, we need some more contrast. Um, but pull out the pink. Oh, this is Festive Berries. It's a very nice, like, ready pink um, from Ranger. It's a, this is a Distress Oxide I'm working with. I really don't think too much between the Oxide and the regular. I think the Oxide um, lasts longer, but uh, it takes longer to dry. I think that's the word on the street. But I, I wouldn't get too worried about it. It's all gonna, it's all gonna work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. That's what we got. Should put him on an angle. Okay, that guy's going that way. Maybe we should rotate you this way. Yeah. Oh, you're going that way too. Oh, now we now now we just got a big a big blubber. All right, that's all right. We'll just leave you as is. But let's go ahead and put him in our journal. Okay. Now let's first of all hope that all these little dots are dry. Let's give it the test. Here's the test. We're good. Okay. No, that was from my finger before. It's okay. Here, whoops. Here, there. I just smudged some pink on it. We're just going to do it anyway. Okay, here we go. Here's a nice page. All right, let me let me muscle in here in my ever small space because I have too much stuff in the room. Oh, yep, there I'm. Get, I got, I doubled one dot. We can fix it, though. We can fix it. It's all right. We have more stickles. Okay. Oh, that's actually a pretty page. That might look nice on there, huh? That looks actually very pretty, and I like, I almost like the plain background because this one is very um, ornate and uh, I think that we're not going to go too hog wild on this background. Let's just um, decorate the background up a little bit and maybe we're going to marry the two colors of festive berries and walnut stain to create some uniformity. Okay, let me just go around. I'm going to lightly ink the edges. Everybody does this a little bit differently. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Yes, yes, there's no worries. It's all right. I like to do this little inside to give it a frame. So and if you want extra hewing in the corners, you can do that. That's okay. You can do circular motions round. You can, you can, when you work with your dauber, you can get different techniques by the, the hand motion that you do. So I would say practice on some paper and just try different fun things. Or just go for it. Just, just go for it and see what happens. I mean, sometimes the proof is in the pudding, you know what I mean? Okay, so maybe we'll put something like this there. Okay, that's nice, but we I, I feel like it needs something behind it a little bit more. What are we gonna do? This time let's uh let's grab um a peg stamp. And since there's I don't know, yeah, let's grab some birdie feet. You can never go wrong with birdie feet, right? So let's just have a very innocent little bird who came along, he hopped, he hopped onto the mushroom, then off, and he went over here. Oh, he lost his footing there. Oh, poor little guy. And then he went over here. Okay, and then maybe he comes down this side because he's like looking for food. And he's like all over the place. He doesn't know where to go, but he's gonna come off there. Okay, so like he's just been hop along Cassidy there, but uh, we are going to give him some playmates. Here we are this lovely little guy is going to go on here. And just to attach your, you want to make sure the length is going to be the right length. It's okay if it sticks above and below a little bit. Just make sure you glue it in the right spot so that it grabs your page. If you glue higher and lower than your page, you're not going to have a belly band. You're just going to have a free flowing flap. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and not touch the dots. Don't touch the dots. Don't touch the dot. Okay. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, so now we have this nice belly band made out of just stuff hanging around. 
Okay, so I thought it might be fun to put something uh, behind it to give it a little bit more contrast, just playing with the image on the page. And I thought maybe taking a, bla a black piece of cardstock might give it some pop. But then you're saying, well, Pam, what are you going to do with a black piece of cardstock? That doesn't make any sense. Um, well, I'm just going to grab one of these unbeknownst known be nots, like these weird things that I make for no particular reason. And I'm going to stick it down there to give it a sense of purpose. And then it's going to feel like it belongs. Like uh, I could put a butterfly. That would be very nice. And that pops nicely. Or I could put a key for no particular reason, just because I have it. Or you know what? Maybe the best one would be this little flower. This little guy almost got ignored. I did pull him out in the original um, pulling. So we will honor the fact that your lucky number was drawn and you will be part of this. So I think I'm just going to put you in the corner there. I'm going to slide you in, and there's just a little something for somebody to find. Um, I could round the corners on that. I may do that later. I don't know. But you could put other things in there. Let's say it's time to put a photo in there. Let's just say you want to... Uh, here's some lovely people. How about these folks? They're grand, aren't they? Yes, hanging out in their little orchard area in their, their little lovely outfits. Maybe they want to be in there too, so... Could go ahead and tuck somebody in like that or long ways and just let them know that there's little somethings in there to be discovered and there you go one journal page down so i hope you had fun with this little project it was very easy and it uses up little scraps and um you know come on come on out and uh, play with the papers with us here oh sunny do you have something to say mom i don't want to get near this the the liquid pearls mom no not the liquid pearls, Mom. Anything but the liquid pearls. Okay, just just a quick hi. Okay, I'm coming in. Here I come. It's it's very. Oh, here I am. Hello, everybody. Where are you? I'm I'm I don't see you, uh, Hunt Sunny. They're over here. Over here. Nope. Don't see them, Mom. Don't see them today. What? Wait. Oh, there you are. Hello, everybody. Good. Good to see you. Glad everybody's fine. That's my nose. Yeah. Hello. Bye. <laughs> Mom, you always have to have the camera so close. Not my best angle. I know, sorry. I'm, I'm learning the zoom. Apparently, I'm, I'm learning the uh, sound, and I am like a rookie beginner at this. Uh, oh, yeah, we don't want that to happen. Um, so uh, many, many apologies for all the goofs, uh, but we're working on improving every day here, every day. Um, so, for well, thank you for all of you who have been around and those who are new. Here's just a, a few little tidbits you might be interested in knowing. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. And my podcasts, they come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, they're free to listen to, different material, um, life of a crafter, answering your crafting questions, junk journal tips, uh, paper craft ideas. Um, I have a Facebook group. Come and join the Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And hey, I love to see what you guys make from these videos. So please feel free to put your stuff up there and let's see. Um, and I have an Etsy shop where you can find um, uh, occasional journals for sale. I have vintage digi kits, which are downloadable printables. And um, if you don't have a printer, I have a service where I will actually print and download them for you. If you send me the name of 10 uh, digi kits that I have, um, and uh, you can either email your list to me to pam at thepaperoutpost.com, or you can uh, Etsy message it to me and then uh, go ahead and purchase the print and mail option on my Etsy page and you can go ahead and um, uh, get those shipped out to you right away. They usually the turnaround is pretty quick and it's uh, you get priority shipping with that which is included in the price and um, uh, I have an Amazon shop so if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies and things like that let's just say you got to have one of these babies if you just got to have one of these babies go check it out um, I do earn a little bit of commission from that but you do not pay a higher price because of that so that does help my channel um, sustain itself so thank you very much for all of you who have purchased through there I truly appreciate that and um, yes Faye, thank you very much that was Sunny. he's very appreciative as well and um, uh, it, all my links are in the drop down description box below. Oh, I have a newsletter. I don't think I said that monthly free monthly emailed newsletter where you get a free digital image emailed to you monthly along with a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, um, fun journal tips and updates from me and peeks at the digi kits that are coming out in the next month. So um, if you find value here or had some fun, please like subscribe and share and remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon everybody. You just never know what you might make. Take care. Bye.